study the adapted media statement below and answer the questions that follow. So here is our media statement. So on Friday, the 24th of Feb 2023, that's the date of publication, the public is urged to adhere to cholera precautionary measures following first death. So one province has confirmed five cholera cases. Cholera is a waterborne disease. It can be mentioned in the same breath as dysentery or dysentery. Sadly, the fifth case resulted in the death of the patient who was earlier admitted to a hospital with profuse water diarrhea. So causing some unhappy feelings in the tum tum, <laughs> the tummy. So the department's outbreak response and surveillance teams have already traced a total of 12 close contacts of the deceased. Two of these contacts are staff members at a restaurant and the health board assured restaurant management that they can continue with business as usual as their hygiene practices and sanitation system adhere to the safety standards. Okay, so that's just bits and pieces of the article. Let's take a look at the question. Name three symptoms other than watery diarrhea that the contacts could experience. So three other symptoms, anything along the lines of nausea, vomiting, really bad dehydration, very rapid heart rate, or low blood pressure. So easiest ones to remember, nausea, vomiting, and dehydration. 2.1.2, .2, motivate why the restaurant is not at risk to transmit the disease. Well, the restaurant isn't at risk because the staff will not be at risk because the establishment uses a proper sanitation system. Okay, we did read that in the article. So they're using clean water or uncontaminated water. Next, uh, the restaurant uses or well, utilizes very hygienic practices, which adheres to safety standards. Staff will ensure that the food is covered at all times. They'll use clean water, just to reiterate. Perhaps the restaurant uses purified or bottled water for drinking. Staff will ensure that food is cooked thoroughly. So anything along those lines would have scored you the marks. You needed to list four succinct points. Um, Just a bonus one here would be clean and sanitized work areas because these surfaces are maintained regularly. And just an additional one from the source, this idea that two people didn't contract the disease at the restaurant. 2.1.3, describe the people who are most at risk of contracting the disease. So the people who are most at risk, these are people that are living in areas with poor sanitary systems and an unsafe water supply or those that are in rural areas or people with malnutrition or people who are consuming shell fish and veggies from contaminated water or perhaps it's the most vulnerable in our society children and the elderly so anything along those lines would have scored you guys the marks and that is it for question two i've just written the answers again there see you in the next one bye